Hey guys, this is Sam Chivit with another tutorial whether how we can record short and advanced payments to vendors in QuickBooks Desktop. Well, while running a business, we face uncertain economic situations. And in those situations, it becomes really hard to manage the unexpected cash flow fluctuations while achieving a healthy vendor-client relations, as it is essential to find the right balance of vendor payments. And sometimes, during those cash fluctuations, we pay either short or in advance to our vendors. Anyhow, to record the vendor payment in QuickBooks Desktop, open your company file and go to the Vendor Center to see the balances. And here you can see that all the vendors have zero balances at this point in time. Now, let's create a bill. And to create a bill, go to the home page and click on Enter Bills. Here, select your vendor, change the date and add the terms if you want. And under Items tab, add some items and to keep it simple I'm adding just one item and then write some memo description and make it billable if it needs to be then click on save and close to create the bill now let's go to the vendor center to see the balances and here you can see that this vendor has a balance of $200 which we owe to him moreover you can click on this drop down and select the balance details to see the balance Anyhow, let's go to the home page to make the payment of this bill. Here, click on Pay Bills and select the vendor if you have a long list of vendors on this window. Then, select the bill you want to make the payment against and then change the date. And here you can see that the pre-filled amount is 200 which is equal to the bill amount. But instead of paying the full amount, I'm reducing it to $150 because due to some unexpected economic fluctuations, I cannot pay in full at this point in time. And also, the vendor is not in favor of giving discounts to settle it against the full amount of this bill. So I cannot adjust the $50 amount as discount. So close the discount window and select your bank account you want to use to make the payment. And click on pay selected bills. Here, it opened a small payment summary window where you can choose to pay more bills or print checks. And instead of selecting either, I'm just closing this window. Now, go to the vendor center to see the balances. And here you can see that the balance of this vendor has gone down to $50 because $150 have been paid against this bill. Now, let's create another bill. So, go to vendor bills on home page and select your vendor. Here, make changes according to your needs. And create a new bill by clicking on save and close after adding some items. Now, let's go to the vendor center to see the balances. And here you can see that the balance of this vendor has increased to $250. Now, let's pay this bill by going to pay bills on the home page. Here, select your concerned vendor if you have a long list of vendors and select the bills you want to pay. And here you can see the remaining balance of the previous bill and the amount of the new bill which totaled to $250. Now, let's suppose there are some favorable economic conditions at this point in time and you pay more than what you owe to your vendors. Let's suppose you pay $350 instead of $250 by adding the advance amount under this bill. And then pay these bills by clicking on the pay selected bills after making some changes according to your needs. Now let's go to the vendor center to see the balances. And here you can see that the balance of this vendor is negative 100 which means that this is the amount we pay to our vendor in advance. Now let's create another bill. So go to vendor bills on the home page and select your vendor. Here make some changes according to your needs and create a new bill by clicking on save and close after adding some items. Now let's go to the vendor center to see the balances. And here you can see that the balance of this vendor is positive 100 because QuickBooks has automatically calculated the amount. 
showing us the balance even though we haven't paid it so far. Now let's pay the bill by going to the pay bills on the home page. Here select your vendor and select the bills you want to pay. And as soon as you will select the bill this time, it shows the credit amount which is the advance amount we paid in the previous bill. Now we have two options. Either we can leave the credit amount as it is for now to adjust it in some future payments or we can adjust it in this bill right away. Now let's pay this bill by adjusting the credit amount in this bill. So to adjust it, click on set credits. It will open a small window and under credits tab, check the credit you want to apply. Moreover, you can change the amount too, but I don't want to. And then click on done. And here you can see that the credit amount has been applied to this bill and the total amount of this bill is now $100. Now change the date, select your bank account and pay the bill by clicking on the pay selected bills. Now let's go to the vendor center to see the balances again and here you can see that the balance of this vendor is now zero. And this is how you can record short or advanced payments to vendors in QuickBooks Desktop. And if you have stayed this far, please consider supporting by liking, subscribing, and sharing your thoughts in the comment section. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.